What are some non-obvious early signs that a relationship is coming to an end? When others talk about your so to you and you get a little exasperated or a little wind slash groan on your face when they say their name. When you start feeling nostalgia for the relationship you're currently in. Reading this thread has confirmed many times over that my almost 8 year relationship is definitely over. Reckon it has been for many years now. Even fights are one sided. The other person just stops trying to resolve the issues. When your so seems totally disinterested in talking to you. You try to start a conversation and they just give you one word slash one sentence answers. When you don't see each other for a few days and you're not excited to get back together. When he slash she no longer bothers to get upset or angry with you. It shows they have checked out and think of you as a stranger. When you feel like you have to make excuses about your so to others. Why they do what they do. Why they said what they said etc. When you take a trip together and argue the whole time. One of the reasons I knew I needed to marry my wife, we could go anywhere together. The brief terrifying, numbing thought of is this going to be the rest of my life. Edit. Thanks for the gold. My very first ever. On such a depressing memory laden post. Thanks. Knowing that your so is physically in the room with you, but feeling that mentally, they are very far away from you. If marriage, here was mine. She didn't want to put her name on the house we were about to buy. She still gave me money to help me get it, but she wouldn't put her name on the mortgage. I forget the reason, but it went in one ear and out the other. It should have been a red flag, but I was naive. We were divorced one year later. She didn't want that house with me because she was already thinking about leaving me. A friend asked me, what's he like? About a month into the relationship, I couldn't answer. It ended in flames, lesson learned. In my last relationship, neither of us had a car to drive, and we lived 50 plus minutes away from each other. We had things budgeted out so one of us could take an Uber to my house slash the house, and back for the weekend. When I occasionally questioned the inconvenient cost of the Uber, she would say it doesn't matter, it's worth spending that money, just to see you after a month or so, plus a couple fights slash tough conversations about things. She changed her mind about taking an Uber up to see me, saying it's not worth the money I need to save. I knew a little beforehand the relationship was rocky, but after hearing that, there was no way of being able to save it. She's a very nice person, though. We just have different points of views on things. I still think about her all the time and hope she's doing well. Being with them feels like an obligation. Their quirks drive you away from them subconsciously. You're only trying for the sake of keeping up a social veil of perfection. Or when you're asking this question on Reddit. Only having sexual attraction when you're drunk. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. When this makes sense to you. It's over. When they stop appreciating and start showing contempt. When instead of getting excited to see their messages you get annoyed and or feel smothered. When I was questioning whether or not I wanted to break up with my ex this is what really told me it was time to go. When little things they do that might have been cute or attractive before start to irritate you. For example, boyfriend is so smart and intellectual we have the most interesting conversations. Sometime later, boyfriend is so smart, but every time we have a conversation he argues with me, even though I'm a subject matter expert at this and have personal experience. When breakup songs start making more sense to you than love songs. I just got dumped last week. This thread hurts. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.